said, who is he said, uh, what is it that makes you say that things are not all going to out of hand? Did you have a prior consultation with all your allies before you announced this? No. In fact, uh, that is not what I mean. I did not say that there was no prior consultation. You know, some of the decisions taken yesterday were not taken suddenly as it was reported today in many of the media. Because one decision was taken and that was kept pending for a long time. Only to convince our coalition partners. You may remember that the government had the decision to uh, this... Uh, uh, this uh, effect, this uh, multi-branch, 51% per, uh, to permit that, we had taken a decision. After taking that decision, that decision was kept in abeyance. It was not implemented. And that is again uh, finally decided to implement. So like that, the petroleum price hike also was on the cards. We did not want to take anything uh, this by surprise or do any surprising decision. That was not the intention of the government. It has been the recommendation from various sources uh, that there has to be a division, uh, revision of prices and that is inevitable. But the government was waiting to see whether the situation will improve, whether the international price of uh, crude or other situation will improve, whether we can avoid this. So with that hope, this decision was kept in abeyance for some time. Everyone has an idea about the inevitability of the revision of prices of petroleum products and also other decisions. We have to, whether we are ready or not ready, we are the government. When we are uh, facing the parliament, we must have the majority. There is, is a question of not ready or ready. Government, as government, we uh, enjoy absolute majority. And moreover, this issue three decisions which the cabinet has taken yesterday, there are differences of opinion in all the parties, even parties which are apparently opposing all these things also. There are many people within those parties who think that this is a right decision. So every party will have to deliberate on this issue, not that anybody can take a, a, a simple decision that no, we are not voting. Because the decision has to be analyzed in its merits, in details, by every party. So, more favorable situation will emerge in the days to come for the government. I have not seen that in any newspaper. I don't know whether it is in any newspaper because we have been here for the last many days. So, is any newspaper in any other part of the country has printed any such story, which uh, probably is a, you know, uh, anybody's guess. But so far, no respons uh, responsible quarters, no opposition parties opposing the government on this issue has come forth with this kind of an allegation. I think probably any decision taken by the government should be applicable to all. And uh, no category can be accepted from that. You know, If that is the case, government should revise that also. We don't feel that MLS and MP should be a privileged class in that matter. What is not available to the common man should be available to the MPs. If they should also uh, have the same kind of restriction, that is what the Congress Party feels. Because on many of the privileged issues, Congress Party holds the view that MPs should have the facilities to work, but they should not have special privileges. And the uh, party believes that the MLAs and the MPs should not be uh, considered as a uh, special category class of people. So the decision taken by the government should be uniform for all.
I don't think that uh, Narendra Modi is competent to criticize Manmohan Singh. Today, a leader in India whose integrity is above board, it is Manmohan Singh, no doubt about it. That cannot be said about Mr. Modi. So I don't think probably that is very much out of place.